twister here. Okay, I've got a Triumph Legend 900. Um, I think it's a 98 or 99 model. Um, and I've just pulled the carbies out and stripped them down and put them back together again. And what I'm going to do is I've, I've um, gonna give you, going to give you a couple of tips on how to tune the carbs and balance them up. Uh, what I did is I bought a set of gauges and I made up a little gauge set one for each carburetor and three hoses off one off each one okay now you're probably not going to know where to start so before you put the carbies back together what you've got to remember is that the center carby or carby number two so this goes into the engine is the, is the master carburetor and then you've got a screw here and that adjusts the number one carb and then a screw here which uh, adjusts the number three carb but what you've got to do is make sure that you're not going to getting in any influence of each of the carbs on number two so what, what I do is I've, I've just um, screwed the screw out on number one um, so screwing it counterclockwise opens the throttle up on number one um, so what I want, and, and as you can see the throttle was partially open because it's got oil, the idle already set which is down on this cable here which goes up into the carburetor which adjusts this main linkage here um, so what we've got to do is I'm going to actually screw both of these so to, clo to close the throttle you go clockwise so we want to open the throttle on number three and number one so we've got number two back into an, its neutral un, unhindered position so it's not getting any influence on any of the other carbies so I'm going to screw this counterclockwise probably about three turns three or four turns and you can see that it's opened up quite a bit in there and this one here is a lot closed and that one there is opened up as well in number one so now I'm going to actually unscrew the idle until the center carby sits against the housing of the actual barrel itself so it's got no influence at all so that's closed off completely there just give it a bit of a blip on the throttle and as you can see number one carby is open a little bit number two is closed and I've got number three open as well so I've got no influence on this center carburetor at all so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to screw this uh, screw for number one clockwise until looking down on it clockwise until this carburetor starts to influence the second carburetor so what I do is I actually hold pressure on both carburetors or on the second carburetor and as soon as I feel the screw to go, go tight I can feel the um, I know that it's starting to influence that carburetor and I'll back it off quarter of a turn and that will give you within a quarter of a turn to balance out that carburetor so I'm just going to demonstrate I can't actually do it with, by hand, uh, with both hands on the uh, one hand on the camera and one hand on the tools so I'll screw it in and as you can see like I'll, I'll do it I'll screw it out about three turns and as I screw it down you'll see the carburetor closing up on the body as you can see so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to screw it in a little bit more until I see the other ones start to open and back it off a quarter of a turn so that's that carby, that's those two carbies pretty close and now we can do exactly the same procedure with the third one so screw it clockwise to close the throttle until you see the second body move but I, I usually hold pressure against the top of the butterfly so when you open the throttles up top of the butterfly hold pressure 
and then when you screw this one back as soon as it starts influencing this carburetor you'll feel the screw pressure get quite tight so that's my tip for the day and then you can basically once you feel it go tight back it off quarter of a turn put the carbies back in and then you can put your vacuum gauges on these three uh, ports vacuum ports and balance it finely so it's only, you're only going to need a very very fine amount of tuning from that point onwards bear in mind you do have to have your engine in good condition so tipper clearances must be good float levels must be good and um, clean fuel okay so that hopefully that uh, gives you guys a few tips this is a choke rail here make, and you can give that a bit of a lube up and make sure that doesn't get, it's not sticking righto cool thanks guys Okay, carburetors are in. All piped up and hoses and everything back on. Um, so all I've got to do now is um, I'll put my tank on, but I just sit the tank on and I'll put a piece of 4 for 2 just here. And sit the tank so you can actually adjust the screws, one down there and one on the other side. So I'm going to hook my vacuum gauges up and I'm going to, um, you'll, initially you'll have trouble starting it because the one, the carbies will be empty but also your idle won't be set. So you're going to have to actually hold the throttle and then balance your idle using your idle screw to get it up at a, a thousand RPM. Once you've got a thousand fifty, thousand, thousand fifty RPM. So once you've got it sitting there, then you can start uh, playing with the carbs. All right. Okay, the third gauge is a little bit too uh, too high on vacuum, which means that the uh, throttle was a little bit closed a wee bit too much so I need to basically open the throttle a fraction just to drop it down the fraction it is that needs because it's sitting up a little bit higher on uh, about two, two, two notches past five and this one's uh, these two here are sitting perfectly on one notch past five to five <laughs> 